Shalom brothers and sisters. Alleged pastor locks himself in a cage full of lions to show he has divine protection from God. A so-called Nigerian holy man locked himself in the cage with three lions to demonstrate his divine protection. Like the biblical story of Daniel saved by the beasts by God himself. The pastor who wanted to prove nothing can happen to a man of God even appeared to invite his congregation to the animal park to witness the stunt. And it appears he came out unscathed, even putting his arm in one of the animal's mouths. The clip showed the so-called pastor wearing his bright blue suit, stroking the growling lions in the enclosure in Nigeria before he risks his limb, all the time looking confidently at the camera. However, BBC says that the man is not a man of God at all, saying he is in fact a zookeeper. And instead of being wowed by the godly grace of the stunt, Kenyan MP Ronald Karori, 45, offered to pay for the pastor to be sent to the Maasai Mara National Reserve to try the stunt with wild lions after he realized and saw the viral footage. The MP said, I volunteer to take him to Maasai Mara, please. All expenses paid. We look for the lions. He can go walk with them. Another local agreed. I challenge him to do that at Maasai Mara. Another one said, those are not lions. They are lion cubs. Big difference. Someone else wrote, oh yeah, let me bring my dog and lock him up with it for one minute. It's ridiculous what people will do to get fame and honor and prove how amazing they are, how touched by God they are, and they are special in some way. It's all about them, not about Him, who it should all be about. When I'm done preaching and teaching and talking to you, nothing would make me happier for you to go, what was his name again? The guy that was always talking about Jesus. The guy that was always warning about Jesus coming. It's all about Jesus. Jay comes, Jesus comes. It's all about Jesus. It's not all about Sholto. It's not all about me. Even if God does miraculous things, and He has many times in my life, it's not about me being special. It's all about Jesus. Jesus clearly says in Luke 4 verse 12, You shall not put the Lord your God to the test. God has said you can go through all these things and nothing will touch you. He didn't say, go put yourself in those situations and test me, manipulate me. You don't get to manipulate God. You don't get to test God to prove a point. God will be there in the fire with you. That doesn't mean you should go jump into someone's barbecue. Then you're jumping in alone. There is a difference. And when people do things like this, they give the whole concept of the church, the pastor, Christianity as a whole, a horrible name, and turned it into a laughing stock. If I had the money, I would pay for his trip to the Maasai Mara to go prove his point. Because he ain't coming back again. It'll be a one-way trip. It's ridiculous. Sad. And ridiculous. Trust in the Lord your God. And you know what? When you have a true relationship with God and you have a deep level of intimacy with Him, you get to the point of to live is Christ and to die is gain. It's not about me. It's about Him. It's always been His story. Always. Whether I live or whether I die, it's His story for His glory. And that's all I want. If I get eaten by a lion and I don't get protected from it, that was the end of my story. And guess what? To die is gain. Why is it gain? Because I'm instantly in the presence of my Lord. I know this in my heart, my soul, my very fiber of my being. That's the difference. I don't need to test God. I get to love God. I get to be loved by God. There's a difference. God bless. Keep looking up. Shalom.